Hello, we're here at Crabtree Valley Mall in Raleigh. And I suspect that this time of year, a mall is about as real as it gets for Christmas in America. We're in fact in front of Santa's World, and in a few hours there will be children climbing all over a man in a red suit. And it is part of the joy and the celebration of Christmas, which is part of the world that we live in. You know how we often say, don't just see the movie, read the book, or don't just see the play, read the story. In the various stories of the birth of the nativity of Jesus found in Matthew and in Luke, there are stories of, of joy, very human joy at the birth of a baby. There are stories of the anxiety of discovering that there are those who don't want this baby to be born. In Matthew's version in particular, the angel comes to Joseph and tells him that his wife Mary is going to have a baby and that this child, quoting the prophet Isaiah, will be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. And in Matthew's story, this God who is with us comes among us in the person of Jesus of Nazareth into a very real world, a very real God. Not a fiction, not a phantasm, not simply a dream, but a very real God who entered time and history with all of its joy and all of its sorrow. In fact, as the story is told, when you see the play, you usually see the baby Jesus and the mother and the father and the wise men. What's often not in the play is King Herod. That's in Matthew's Gospel. King Herod who seeks to kill the baby boy. And in seeking to kill the baby, kills baby boys in Bethlehem, where there is weeping and wailing. Even as we celebrate Christmas, children have been murdered in Sandy Hook. Brave and courageous teachers who tried to defend them have died. Even just yesterday, 10 young girls were killed by a roadside bomb in Afghanistan. No, the Christmas story, when you really read the story, is the story of a very real God who entered a very real world and who became God among us. That's the Christmas story. But it doesn't just end there. One common thread in both Matthew's telling and in Luke's tellings is that the people involved in the story are very often scared to death. When the angels appear over and over, they say to them, fear not, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of me. Don't be afraid of the world. And in one moment in Luke's gospel, after the baby is born, a host of angels appear to shepherds who are frightened to death. And one of the angels speaks to them, and says, do not be afraid. Behold, I bring you good news of great joy. For unto us is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. He has been born. God has come. He is Emmanuel. And he will not leave us. So you have a Merry Christmas. Sing your carols. Go shopping. Gather the family. Visit those who have no one to visit. Make sure no one is alone and by themselves. And have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.